Hey everybody, I'm back with another KDE motor review. Only this time the motors will be accompanied by a small collection of 20 and 35 amp ESCs. I've been waiting for motors and ESCs with a higher tolerance for abuse to hit the market and they're finally here. If you're sick of throwing magnets because your motors can't handle the heat or popping ESCs when your motors come to a screeching halt, these might be just what you're looking for. The motors I'm showing you today are the KDE 2206XF 2050KV multi-rotor motors. These puppies can handle serious, well above average running temperatures when you're really pouring on the coals. The windings, which are tied down with frickin' Kevlar and coated in a high temp resin, can deal with a continuous 464 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now I'm flying the Hover Things Flip 260 with this KDE powertrain and I'm pumping in 16.8 volts of frame smashing happiness and I'm doing it quickly. These motors have held up to some serious abuse so far, but I'm not done with them yet. I very much plan on throwing a 6S pack in there and taking these motors and ESCs to their limits. Yep, that's right, these prop snapping angry fast motors and ESCs can put away 6 cells of lipo puffiness. Not to mention the 35 amp ESCs can take 8S. Only problem with this way of thinking is I have a lingering suspicion that I'll run out of talent before these motors run out of power. I mean, look at this thing already. Please check out my last KDE motor review video for a better look at how KDE's XF multi-rotor series motors are put together. I don't want to dive too deep into that pool and lose your attention, so I'll just say that these little guys are a nicely condensed, concentrated curtailing of the rest of KDE's multi-rotor motor offerings. And even though these motors are some of the smallest they offer, KDE was able to keep all their great design features like the upper magnet retaining rings and curved magnets. Colored main shaft versus the standard C-clip, nice long wire leads, triple bearing support, and plenty of holes to choose from for mounting nearly any prop you want to the motor and mounting the motor to nearly any platform. And of course, all these motors are dynamically balanced and run super smooth. So moving on to the ESCs, both the 20 and 35 amp ESCs are opto-isolated, so I had to pull power off my distribution board and step it down to get my 5 volts. I also did the same to get 12 volts to my video gear off the PDB, and you can see my video filter crammed in there too. When you first pull these guys out of their schnazzy black boxes, you'll notice the foam composite backing shrink wrapped against the underneath side of the ESC. This provides a little cushion for the vital parts of the ESC so you can cinch them down real good on just about any surface. And of course on the top side sits an epoxy bonded heat sink to let off the energy that these powerhouse motors are spinning up. After all these motors and ESCs have been through aboard my Flip 260, I would absolutely recommend them as the premium choice of their class. Hope you enjoyed the review guys. Keep your eyes out on my channel for more flight videos of these motors coming soon.